Hello, everybody. This is Nikki. We'll see what sign I'm reading for tonight. What is your sign <clears throat> that I'm reading for tonight? Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. The energy around you is serious, materialistic, and hardworking. It bestows shrewdness and cautious ambition. So let's see what message we have here for the Capricorn today. All right. What is Capricorn's message today, Spirit? A pathway. Okay, false person. Um, this could be that you're, you're headed toward a relationship or you are smack dab in the middle of a relationship that's dealing with somebody that's not true. Five plus three is eight and then we have eight. Maybe this person is eight years older than you. Maybe you've been dating this person around eight months. Whoever it is, they're, false per they're a false person. Um, it's like they're a liar and the truth is not in them. Okay. They are um, giving you these lies. They're telling you stuff collective that you want to hear. That they're not being truthful. They're not being upfront. Um, they're not being honest with you. All right. And this could also be some sort of uh, get rich quick scheme. Okay. Uh, like a pyramid scheme, like a scam, do this, do that, and you'll get more money. Uh-uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Or, you know, this could also be saying, I'm, um, I want to rent this house. I want to buy this house. There's something not right about this path that you're on. Okay, so kind of listening to you, listen to your intuition here. Okay, your intuition will not steer you wrong. They're promising you all of this stuff. You know, if it sounds good to you, if it looks good to you, nine times out of ten, it's not. There could be a slum lord. They could be covering up some things. They could make stuff look good just until you get in there. Same thing if you're trying to buy a car. It may be a lemon. They may dress it up real good and everything, clean it up real good, um, polish it or whatever. You dry that thing at home two, three days, two, three weeks later, <laughs> it's a lemon. It then fizz the F out. So kind of watch that. So kind of be, you know, be cautious of what it is you're doing because I feel like this person has been locked up before. Okay. For the same thing, they're just same thing. You're getting the shit, same stuff, different day. Okay, get out of jail and do this shit again. Okay, so you don't want to be a part of this. You already know up front that whatever deal this is or whatever this person is cooking up, it's not good. It's not a good idea to deal with this person. The energy is all jacked up. Okay, like I smell a rat, a big fat juicy one. Okay, so kind of watch out. You just you already know. What's going on with this person's energy? Yeah, it may seem like it's all grave. It may seem like it's a gift, okay? Or it's a gift that this opportunity just fell in your lap. That's just perfectly is aligned to what it is that you want. It sounds so good. It sounds to too good to be true. It probably is. What's going on? Yeah. So this person has been possibly locked up or in jail before. Okay, we got the justice card here or or some maybe you even have to pay a fine or some sort of restitution. Or this is just saying that this person is just not a, a good person for you. You've already been through enough Capricorn. You don't need to go through this BS with this person or this situation. Or this is just saying the path that you want to go on, go in, t slow down, you know, proceed with caution. Just keep your eyes wide open because this may not be something that you really want. Just because, it, like I said, it sounds good to you. It may not be good for you. You know, I feel like it'll be a battle. If you do this, it'll be like a battle. You know, I just feel like there could be something that's already stopping you. Uh, your mother wit, your wisdom. That inkling that you get, like, oh, something I write about this. Stop. <laughs> Hammer time. No, stop. So, there's something that you really want. There's something that you talked about. You're very excited about it. But you're being blocked. There's something that's blocking you from moving forward within reason you know for a reason hold up hold up hold up stop it's, it's, it's just because it look good to you does not mean it's good for you it, it may not be a good situation for you to be in Capricorn seven of pentacles and we have here the strength card and you know what you probably need this though you probably need this move or you probably uh, need more money or you want to date this person hang out with this person move to this new house but it's like you're jumping out of five, the, the skill into the fire or jumping out of fire for the frying pan and whatever, you know, it's just only going to get worse. You're jumping from sugar to shit. 
You get that? From sugar to shit. You don't want that. You're already going through enough. Stay where you are right now. Um, if, if you can, if you're talking about moving, make sure you know exactly where you're going. It could be something wrong with the house. It could be something wrong with the neighborhood. Uh, you just don't want to get caught up and then end up signing a lease or a contract and then you screw for another year. Same thing if you buy a car. Make sure if you don't know what the hell going on with it, make sure you take somebody with you so they can make sure everything is running correctly. But pay attention. Don't sign anything until you're exactly sure what it is that you want to do. Because you don't want to get to that point and then you have buyer's remorse or I shouldn't have got this house. I should have I should have waited. I should have got the other one. My 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 aunt, my intuition was telling me not to do this, was not to take that house or not to sign for that contract for the car or whatever, you know. So you don't want to get to that point to where you just already going through some stuff and you should have waited until something else came about or been a little bit more patient with yourself or the situation, you know. So I would just say take your time. Whatever it is that you're doing, take your time and think about it because I think that if you if you if you do it, it's going to make you feel real um, bad because it's just not. This person plays a lot of games. They play play a lot of tricks on you. Um, it's like they switch up. They they will show you one thing, but it ends up being something totally different. Okay, they make it look good, but that's because they're the magician. They can make you believe what it is that they say. They can promise you all of this stuff. Okay, promise you is gold by the time you didn't, didn't lived in it or I drove it or whatever for a couple of days, all of the gold fall, falls off and you realize it was rusty. So I would just say watch it, whatever it is that you're doing. Uh, be prepared for the inevitable. You know, if you're moving somewhere, you know, it's not going to hurt you to stay a couple of more days unless they physically come in and evict you. But work something out with your landlord. I'm going through a tough time right now. Can I have a little bit more time? But don't just take it because you need it. Don't take it because it looks good and you need it right then and there. Just please, please, please take your time. Okay? Let me talk to you later.